You said that you lived and breathed her for four years. Tell me about your preparation for this film. When I first started, uh, it was gathering as much information about her, you know, learning about her life well, from, you know, from books, from books that she wrote, books that she read, you know, people who uh, she draw, she inspiration from, who were her heroes. Um, that was the basic things, just to get a grip on who this person was. So after that, it was just, you know, when you're an actor, there are certain things that you have to do, which is your homework. Um, she spoke with an incredible, beautiful English accent, which had that lilt. Then she spoke Burmese, which I did not. <laughs> but you learned. I had to. It was one of the crucial things that I had to do, and I promised my teacher, who was this lecturer in Burmese, that I would do it to, that didn't sound like a foreigner trying to speak Burmese, and if the Burmese ever heard it, they would understand what I was trying to say, because that speech was crucial. That was the first time she spoke to almost a, a million people, and they were hoping that she would be the one that could lead them. And unless she could convince them and speak to them sincerely, make them understand that even though, you know, she had lived away from Burma for 16 years in Oxford, even though, yes, she did marry a, an Englishman, her heart, and because she is her father's daughter and a man who had sacrificed so much for her, his country for all the best reasons, that she was exactly that. And she was here today. I was very nervous, which was good for the scene, because she was very nervous when she had to do that, because uh, there were real Burmese in the crowd, and Luke was is very bold in the sense that he cast, some of them were Burmese refugees, um, he went to the camp and we had them brought in, uh, because it gave that sense of integrity to mm. it, you know, there was no, there was no acting, they were who they were. And one of the guys, uh, one of my NLD members, a few of them were actually Burmese. So Luke came up to me when I finished my speech and he says, did you know he was crying the whole time? And I turned around, one of them, he was there in the crowd in 88 and he said, I was watching Dorsu. She was in front of me. Now, Suddenly, I am standing behind her, and I'm hearing it all again. <laughs> I have goosebumps. Yeah. What a story.